Scotty Beam calls out Joe Budden for standing by Diddy and not taking a stance. That's right. Scotty Beam just went on Twitter and clowned Joe Budden for his half-hearted stances on the whole Diddy situation. For those of you that don't know, people in the podcast industry and people in media in general have been shocked by how some of the biggest podcasters in the space have been treating this Diddy story. I'm talking people like Drink Champs, people like Million Dollars Worth of Game, and none other than the podfather himself, Joe Budden. It's important to remember that Joe Budden and Scotty Beam have an interesting relationship. And you could even look at what Joe said about Scotty Beam to document how their relationship deteriorated over the years. The young lady that I used to work with that didn't go to greatest, and she don't speak to me no more. Our initial fight was over Jesse Smollett because I said, hey, that nigga's lying. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, how dare you? How dare you? A black man, a gay man at this time. Scotty Beam and Joe worked on State of the Culture, which was kind of the heir apparent to Everyday Struggle. However, the show would flop. But most importantly, Scotty Beam and Joe would have a falling out over the Jesse Smollett situation. Remember Jesse Smollett from Empire? He had this whole story about how he was assaulted by MAGA supporters while doing a late night run for some subway. And it was found out that maybe he wasn't entirely truthful about the whole thing. Well, years later, Scotty Beam still remembers that situation because her and Joe used to go at it as a result of Scotty Beam refusing to change her stance on Jussie Smollett in light of the developments about that story. And now she's taken to Twitter and said, LMFAO, dudes was going to beat me up for not calling Jussie a bleep when we didn't have the info. But Homeland Security at his homie's house and it's quiet. Now this is obviously about Joe Budden. Joe Budden has been super mums the word about Diddy. Diddy and Joe are tied in together. They did State of the Culture. State of the Culture was on revolt. Uh, and, you know, Joe just hasn't been saying much about it. But I do think with the recent news that Diddy's house was raided by the feds, that now you will start seeing people do an about face and start to distance themselves from Diddy. I got to tell you, man, this Diddy thing is really crazy. It's, for me crazier than r kelly because i listen to diddy way more than i listen to r kelly diddy has made jay-z songs are we prepared to cancel all of diddy's music will you be canceling all of diddy's music all of mace's music this is crazy y'all it's the end of an era the diddy era and diddy's era is like collapsing right in front of him this is like when the big king loses a battle and his, he's sitting in his throne and you see the invading army coming in the distance and all of your empire is about to crumble this is what's happening to diddy y'all it's over diddy used to say we won't stop but now it's stopping i guess i'm the only one that now has to keep the stop from stopping all right, y'all, let me know what you think about Scotty Beam versus Joe. Do you feel she has an actual axe to grind with Joe, or is she being super petty? Does Joe owe her an apology for the contrast and how he wanted her to deal with the Jussie Smollett situation versus how he's dealing with the Diddy situation? And I want to be honest, I reached out to Scotty Beam for an interview. I emailed her. She hasn't gotten back to me, but I assume a lot of people just probably ignore their emails or maybe ignore me maybe i'm just toxic i don't know i gotta be honest if i do ever interview scotty beam i will ask about her relationship with joe if i ever interview anybody i will ask about what the topics are that people want to know about i hate this new style of podcasting where you bring somebody to the studio and then you don't ask about what people want to hear about that's just weird to me i will never engage in that level of podcasting i'm going to ask you if it's something we haven't talked about face-to-face -face or on Twitter spaces, I'm going to ask you, what's going on with this situation? You seem to constantly bring it up. I want to talk about it, and we want to have a civil discourse about it. And I think me and Scotty can have a great conversation. You know, I'm a nice guy. I like to have real talk.
I don't talk over people. I think that's why my platform is so good. I let people speak. I'm not going to get loud. Scotty Beam, sit down with me. We can go to the full court studios. We can have a good time. I'll lay out whatever you want, whatever's in your rider. You know, I'll put the M&Ms out. I'll put the, you know, Fiji water. Whatever you want, Scotty. But we got to get to the science. All right, y'all, that's my video for today. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace.